everyone. Welcome to Audubon at Home. My name is Lisa. This week we are talking about nocturnal animals and things that come out at nighttime. So I want to read you one of my favorite books. It's called Bats at the Beach. Bats at the Beach, written and the pictures are by Brian Lies. The sun slips down and all is still, and soon we can't tell the sky from the hill. Now from the barn and the cave and the rafter, bats pour out with shrieks of laughter. The rising moon can grow no fatter as sky lights up with gleeful chatter. Quick, call out, tell all you can reach. The moon is just perfect for bats at the beach. Soon we've got our buckets, our trowels, our banjos, our blankets, our books, and our towels. Strapped on backs and under wings. Have we forgotten anything? Launching out into the breeze, we sail above the darkened trees, flying fast to wet our feet, where land and foamy ocean meet. Look at all the things they're carrying, picnic baskets and buckets. Someone's got an umbrella, all the things you'd bring to the beach. At last we hear the deep bass thump as the waves on seashore crash and bump. Now the shoreline spreads below. We pull wings in and down we go. They're zipping down towards the beach. How delicious, oh how sweet, to feel the warm sand beneath our feet. Quick, set up, spread blankets on sand. We want to get going where fun is at hand. We hurry down to test the ocean. Don't forget the moon tan lotion. What's the first thing we should do? So many games before the night is through. Here they are, they got all their bags, they got their umbrellas. They're spreading out their blankets. Here's some of the things they got to do. Like playing with the stuff we find which others must have left behind. Burying friends from chin to knee, we're scratchy where no sand should be. Making friends from other places with different foods and different faces. Look at them burying each other in the sand. Here they are trying out different things. I'd like a strawberry, how about a bug? or sailing to terrific heights, taking turns at being kites. Little bats dig their sand caves deep and old bats lie in the moon asleep. Here's our, our little guy, our older guy snoozing, right? This one's becoming a kite flying in the air. There's really no more thrilling ride than surfing on a summer tide or sailing in the wing boat races with salty sea spray on our faces. Now it's munch time, what's to eat? Baskets grown with yummy treats, beetles, ants, and milkweed bugs, crickets, moths, and pickled slugs. Would you like that for your beach treats? Damselflies or sh salted skeeters no room here for picky eaters. I would love someone to come eat some of these skeeters. Bug mallows toast on slender sticks while cousins do their ocean tricks. <laughs> Look at this. You got little cricket legs sticking out from those marshmallows. And later on, those stomachs hurt. We'll try the snack bar for dessert. They go in and they see all these insects in the snack bar. Quick, don't miss it. The old bats are singing the bat songs that they learned 
when they were first winging. Music rolls on, but no more games, as embers popped within the flames. Little ones climb onto a leathery lap, determined to rest, but not to nap. Then east sky purples, sun is coming. A last few notes of banjo strumming bring our beach night to its end. So say farewell to newfound friends. Pack our things up, shake the sand out. Give the noisy gulls a handout. Quick, let's go, let's fly away. We've gotta be home before it's day. Flutter homeward, drained and weary. Small bats doze off, tired and teary. Day birds start to chirp and peep. Now back to crack and crevice creep. We sigh and snuggle close together to dream about the moony weather. Shh, now sleep. The moon's out of reach. The night was just perfect for bats at the beach. And that was the end of that story. I hope that you might see some bats, maybe at the beach, but maybe just even in your backyard or a park this summer. They love to come out right when the sun is going down and be swooping around. So I hope you get a chance to see some of those. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Thank you for joining us for Audubon at Home.